Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that how we can render the static and server side image into our project. And if you are not familiar with this one, you can just enable your GD extension from your PHP INI file and your images are going to work. If you are using the MPDF or any other library, it's still same. And if you are also using the jQuery reader table, so it's still same. So if it's still not going to work, what's, uh, what are the steps we need to make this uh, going to work? So basically you need to convert your image into base64 and load these images as base64. So how to uh, convert the image into base64? So let's take eye on this. First you need to locate your image so here I added the public path so it will look into the public directory and then it's going to find the laravel.png file it's this one so it's mean that we are loading the image with the path so I will store this uh, in the path variable and then I'm going to get to its uh, this image extension so why I'm going to get the image extension dynamically because if we are rendering the images dynamically like our uh, we are getting the images from this directory and it's we don't know what's what is the extension type so maybe it's going to jpg or png or some other that's why we are going to get this uh, image extension so how to get the extension from the image path so you need to type path info which is a php native function and then you need to type this path so you need to provide this one in the first parameter and then second would be php info extension so this will print the this uh, png this will print this png right and if it's jpg it will print the jpg so this uh, type will receive this png or jpg and then you are going to collect uh, all of its content from this path so here we added this file get content which is used to get the contents and we pass this uh, image so it will get the image into this data and then we are going to convert this into the base64 so we uh, you remember that base64 follow this so uh, data image and then you need to define your type so like uh, png or jpg so we are getting this from into this dynamic variable that's why we are concatting this type here okay after this you need to type semicolon and then you need to call this uh, you need to add this base64 and remember here you don't need to add the semicolon just add the colon and uh, then you need to call this base64 and then you need to encode your data and uh, pass this image using compact method or you can pass this here as a, uh, array and then in the blade you need to just uh, echo this image uh, like uh, this image and then it's going to render as uh, expected so hope you like this video subscribe the youtube channel and uh, let me tell you one more amazing thing if you are a Muslim, I want to say you congratulations because it's the uh, first Ramadan fast and uh, we are, it's a uh, very good month for the Muslim. So wish you a very good luck and hope you like this series. So I will meet you in the next one. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will meet you in the next one. Bye bye.